Hello, my wonderful calculus adventurers. So power rule versus exponential rule for derivatives. I see creative variations of the following technique all the time. It's a mistake. If you try to take a derivative of some sort of exponential function and students start bringing down the exponent and subtracting one from the exponent up there. No, 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 no. So you got to keep the power rule and the exponential rule for derivatives straight. So the power rule is for when you have a variable to the power of a number, whereas the exponential rule is the opposite. It's when you have a number to the power of a variable. Okay, so for instance, if you need to take the derivative of x to the third power, that's a variable to a number power, that's a perfect use of the power rule. That's where you take the exponent, bring it down out front, your variable stays there, and then you subtract one from the exponent. So our final answer would be 3x squared. The exponential rule, an example would be if you have to take the derivative of 3 to the x. Notice here it's a number as your base and a variable as your exponent. Here there's a totally different rule. It's one that you can look up in your book or memorize and you write the exact same function again times a correction factor, ln of whatever your base was. So if this is 7 to the x, it'll be 7 to the x times ln 7. There's a whole different rule for exponential derivatives compared to power rule derivatives. Another really famous exponential rule derivative is e to the x. That one is just e to the x. You can view it as times ln e, but what is ln e? It's just 1. So often you'll just memorize this very special derivative rule. It's the only function that equals its own derivative. Whereas if you had um, a trick question on an exam or sort of a weird question, x to the power e, it uses a totally different rule than e to the power x. You have to use the power rule because you have a variable as your base and an e, which is a number, as your exponent. So here you would use the power rule. You bring the exponent down up front e times x to the e minus 1. And that doesn't simplify very well, so that's a great final answer. So just remember, when you're taking a derivative, the structure of the function matters a lot. If you have a variable as your base and just a plain old number up top, use the power rule for your derivatives. If you have a number as your base and a variable as your exponent, you have to use a totally different derivative rule. It's called the exponential rule and sometimes it's written as a to the x in general, a to the x times ln a. So you might see this in your book if you're trying to find it. So make sure to keep these straight. They're two different derivative rules. Let me know if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below, and see you next time, bye.